Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by to watch another video. Today's video, I have some extreme cleaning motivation for you. I know you guys love these videos. I also have some clips of us decorating my daughter's room. Last weekend, I know you guys have been waiting to see how her room turns out, so I'm so excited to show you guys this. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Vantasia. I'm a stay-at-home mom of three and I post motivational cleaning videos like this weekly. So if you like videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any any future uploads if you are not already go ahead and follow me over on Instagram this is where I will be posting updates about future videos and showing you guys updates of myself and the kids so if you guys would like to stay more connected with us go ahead and follow me on Instagram didn't do an all-out room decor for London's room I'm just going to be showing you guys what we did and how we kind of fixed things up to make her room look more girly and I absolutely love it so I'm going to be showing you guys us taking everything down and just getting everything clean so we can add her new stuff Okay guys, for starters, this is our only daughter. I really wanted to go all out, but I had to be patient. I know you guys have been hearing me say I've wanted to decorate her room for a while, but honestly, in the past, I would have bought so much stuff and went all out and spent way too much money. So I really had to be patient and just wait for things to come so it would be special for me whenever I was decorating her room. Everything that we bought for her room was honestly under $100, you guys. So we bought a new bed, a sign for her room, so got a mirror it also has a full-size bed but of course her room is not big enough to fit a full-size bed and have enough space for her to play so we went ahead and also bought her a toddler bed so it wouldn't take up too much space and she would still have room to play wanted to make sure I gave her room a thorough clean since there was nothing there so I went ahead and wiped everything down cleaned the baseboards and also cleaned the floors Okay guys, now back to reality. I still have so much to do in the whole entire house. So it's not just cleaning today that I'm going to be tackling. I also have some extreme organizing to do. There are things in our closet that my husband and I have been holding on to since we were 13 and 14 years old. And it's just time to get rid of that. Christmas lights are the only thing that I have put up in our house, you guys. I got these from the Target Dollar Spot. My husband and I absolutely love them. Even though my sister said I was a little corny for having Christmas lights on our bed, I still love it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. So if you follow me over on Instagram, then you have already heard this story, but I'm going to share it again for those that don't follow me over on Instagram. And if you're not, don't forget to go follow me there as well. This week, I was telling my husband everything that I wanted to do for the holidays and how I wanted to create a hot chocolate station. And you guys, I thought he wasn't listening to me. Don't lie, I was kind of upset, but I didn't say anything. And the next day when he came home from work, brought me this gift and he was like, this is so you can start your hot chocolate station. You guys, I won't lie, I was speechless. I was standing there cheesing from ear to ear and I couldn't do anything but hug him and kiss him because this was so sweet and I loved it.
Right now, I am just organizing and cleaning our closet. This was long overdue. I try to do this at least once every two weeks because things can get so cluttered here. You guys see London helping me as I was going through the paperwork. And first off, let me just say this blue band that we have, we've been having since we were 13 and 14 years old. And this is where my husband kept all of the notes that I ever wrote him. And he even have notes that he wrote to me, you guys. And I just think it's so sweet that he's kept on to these things for so long. Of course, I didn't get rid of those but I did get rid of old newspapers and old paperwork and just things that we had laying around the house or things that we've collected over the years. Moving on to the bathroom, this really was not out of hand at all. It actually looks kind of clean, but I just wanted to go over everything once more because I cannot clean my whole house and just skip the bathroom. So I just went ahead and gave this a good wipe down. I am sure that every mom can relate to what I'm doing right now. I don't know what London and Jaden were doing in the bathroom, but they dropped so much stuff down the drain and I had to use this snake to get it out. I didn't even know if it would work. And honestly, you guys, it took a lot of patience for me to get everything that they dropped down the drain. There was a ball, toothpaste lid, a bouncy ball, toilet paper. You guys, there was so much stuff down this drain. And then this clip, I thought I got everything out, but then I came back later and the drain was stopped up again. So I had to take my time and get everything out. And I didn't show that part on camera. Thank you. 
This is a little behind the scenes for you guys. I know whenever I'm cleaning, it seems like I just move from room to room. Not always the case, you guys. So whenever I clean the room, I will honestly put everything into the trash in the hallway or pile the clothes up in the hallway until I'm done with that room. It kind of seems like it's more work added to everything that I have to do, but honestly, it's not, you guys. Well, or at least I don't think it is. It is so much easier to just put things in the hallway until you get done cleaning that space. It takes a long time to film these cleaning videos so I try to do anything that I can do to move to the next room it is a little bit easier Here is a little inside of you guys, the mirror that is in London's room. My husband honestly begged me to put the mirror in our bedroom, but I don't know, as soon as I saw this mirror, everything that I could have ever envisioned for London room just came together off the strength of this mirror and I absolutely love it. London loves it, however, she does look into the mirror and says, it's a picture of me. And I just think that that's so cute. The elephant that we have on the wall, the elephant on the wall is a really special touch that my husband wanted to add. The picture of the elephant that's on the wall is a really special touch that my husband wanted to add. His grandma died when he was younger and they were close. He and his grandpa are close. And his grandma's favorite animal was an elephant. So when we saw this elephant room decor at Hobby Lobby. So here is a little family inside of you guys. My husband is the only grandchild of his grandma and grandpa's. So it really touches my heart because I wish that his grandma could have met her great grandkids. Be that my husband got this elephant room decor and the place that he put it. So he put it on the wall closest to London's toy area and where she plays. And to me, it reminds me and makes me feel that her great grandma is just watching over her and it's just so sweet and I love it super cute toy box my mother-in-law got this for London on Christmas either on Christmas or on her birthday and you guys London loves this this is most definitely something that I am going to have to fix up add a cushion to it so she can have a little sitting and reading area in her room since Christmas is just around the corner, I decided to go ahead and declutter London's toy. I know that the kids will probably get more small toys for Christmas and we all know how hard it can be to have a lot of small toys. I hate stepping on them so I was really excited to get rid of those. Moving on to cleaning the living room and the kitchen, I will let you guys know now that I did not know my phone was dead when I was cleaning the kitchen, so I didn't film any of that. So you guys will see me go back to the kitchen to wipe everything down, but not actually fully clean the kitchen. However, there are still things that need to be done. I really need to organize the chest drawers in the living room and also sweep, mop the floors, and like I said, wipe everything down. I have so much laundry that needs to be done. Okay guys, so this was supposed to be a surprise, but I really can't keep it in. You guys, we got a couch. I'm not sure how much longer we'll have this furniture, but you guys be prepared, be fully prepared for a complete living room decor transformation video. I will be so excited to film that. Like I said, I'm not sure how long we will have this furniture until we transition to the different furniture, but I'm so excited to share that video with you guys. If you guys have been here for a while, then you know I said a long time ago that I wanted new furniture. So this is huge for me and I'm just so happy.
So I know that someone is going to say, why are you so dressed up? And y'all, let me live, okay? I feel so beautiful this day. My husband and I went to lunch, and I was like, I'm going to go ahead and finish cleaning this house and film this video. And I thought I looked so good. We'll scratch that. I did look good. I felt good. And when I feel good, I mentally felt good, you guys. And this is something that I felt like I haven't felt in a while. And what made it even more special is that my husband asked me to go on a date with him. And then the whole entire day, he just couldn't stop looking at me, smiling, telling me how beautiful I looked. And y'all, I felt like a little high school girl again. Okay guys, so I did go ahead and take down the fall decor. I was going to leave it up until Thanksgiving, but I just realized that we actually won't be here for Thanksgiving this year. We're going to be going out of town. So I went ahead and took down the Thanksgiving decor and my husband has been asking me every single day when are we putting up the Christmas tree. So that's going to be happening very soon. Okay, so you guys already know that a mother can never get out of doing laundry. You guys, I tried to get out of doing this laundry and cleaning this laundry room, but I just couldn't. After the whole house was clean, I was like, yep, this needs to get done too. And I also want to share with you guys that it felt so good to get all of my laundry done. A couple of days prior to this video, I was talking to Karima and she has spent the whole day cleaning and doing all of her laundry and putting everything away. And she was so happy and her excitement transferred onto me and it is what inspired me to get my whole house clean and also finish the laundry so i hope that this laundry clip inspired you guys to get your laundry done and get it put away so that you can have a free mind i am a firm believer that whenever you get your house decluttered and clean to a t your mind will be clean and decluttered as well so i hope this gives you guys a ton of motivation
Okay guys, so the very last thing that I had to do was of course mop our floors and I will let you guys know right now with it being a crazy season right now, everyone's getting sick, getting the flu. I have been absolutely loving my steam mop. Not only do I love the fact that it sanitizes my floors, I love the fact that I only have to use water to have clean floors. With the steam and it being so hot, it kills all the germs. Sometimes I will go through and spray my Young Living Thieves household cleaner, which also kills 99.9% .9 of germs. So I love using that as well. But like I said, sometimes I will go through and spray that onto the floors so I can clean with that. If you guys are looking for some Christmas gifts that you want to get your wife or your sister, your mom, anybody, I would most definitely look into getting a steam mop because these things are perfect. However, I do have a spam mop that I use whenever I'm just doing a speed clean that I really like to use too. Both the Shark Steam Mop and the Spam Mop that I got from Aldi are both really affordable. So I will try to have those listed in my description box. Never stop the way, yeah. Birds chirping, I hear my name. Grass fields are alive. Life is happy, but it's so insane. We must merely make a strive. Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah. have just begun we will always take a stand for the people for the land let's go back to when we were young for the animals we stand let's go back to if you have made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching to see all of my hard work. You guys truly don't know how much it means to me that you guys watch my videos all the way through. If you are a returning subscriber, again, thank you so much for continuously watching my videos and commenting. And if you watch my videos all the time and you are not subscribed to my channel, I hope that you enjoyed this video just enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell. All right, guys, that is the end of this video. I truly hope that you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave me some comments down below. And if you're new to my channel, welcome again. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any future uploads. And as always, I'll talk to you guys in my next video.